Welcome back. As I promised last week, I am here today to share with you my brand new quilt patterns for my Buttercup and Slate fabric line. Now I mentioned that those fabrics are not available in quilt shops until August, September-ish. If you missed my sneak peek of those, I'm gonna put the little card up on the video so you can tap that and go look at the fabrics. But the quilt patterns are in my shop now as well as other quilt shops. So you can snag those now and start planning for your fall quilting. We are just gonna move right in into the quilts. This is my joy filled quilt pattern. This quilt finishes at 60 by 72 and it would make a great block of the month pattern. Or if you like making a bunch of different blocks instead of one block repeatedly, this is a fun one to do that. I really enjoyed sewing this quilt up. Um, it uses a fat eighth, had to grab my pattern and make sure I was telling you right, but yes, it uses a fat eighth bundle. Um, three and three quarters yard background, and then you need your binding and backing fabrics. I used the white on white background fabric, and I'm gonna show you how that looks up close and talk about the quilting as well, because sometimes you want your quilt to just look exactly like the sample that you saw. So let's take a look. Here's a little bit of an up close of the joy filled quilt. It is quilted with the Baptist fan in a smaller scale, which I think works really well for this quilt. My quilter is Kayleen Perry, and I found her on Instagram, so I will make sure and link to her down in the description so that if you would want her to quilt for you, you would have that information. She does a wonderful job on the quilting. So that's the Baptist fan. It is a quilting pattern that I use a lot for different quilts. Um, I like that it has a traditional feel to it and it really suits a lot of my pattern designs. The back of this quilt uses the large scale floral from Buttercup and Slate on the white background. And then I used that little gray stripe for the binding fabrics. Joy Filled, again, is the name of this pattern. And you can find it at quilt shops or in my Etsy shop. Fabrics, again, will be shipping closer to the fall. The second quilt of my new Buttercup and Slate patterns is this one here. This is Flyaway Blackbird. If you watched my video last week, this was the one I talked about last week. This is a charm pack friendly quilt. It finishes at 72 by 72. You use those charm pack squares in the star points here, and then you do need additional fabrics for the birds and for the gray chain that runs through those star blocks. If you ever wonder how much fabric you need in any of my patterns, I always list that information in my Etsy shop so you can easily see if you have the fabrics you need or if maybe you need to purchase additional fabrics to make the quilt and that is helpful to know even if you're purchasing the pattern from your local quilt shop or from a different online shop you know that if you visit my Etsy shop you can get those yardage requirements easily in any of the pattern listings let's take a look at that up close I want to show you some of the details on the quilting for this one too this is a new to me quilting pattern that we decided to use on this quilt. This is called Karen's Basket Weave and I think it turned out really well. I was so happy with the way the quilting looks on this quilt. You, I never know exactly when I am choosing quilting patterns. Some of them work as well as I hope they will and others I might wish I had made a different decision but I really like the way this quilting design looks on this quilt. The background here is also the white on white print from the Buttercup and Slate collection. You could substitute Bella Solid in the color 9900-200, which is called Off-White. That is the white solid from the Bella line that matches all of my fabric collection. So if you ever wonder which white matches, and there are so many different whites to choose from, which white matches 200 is the color that matches my collections best. Um, I just love these birds. Aren't those cute? Such a nice scale. Um, it's so hard to tell when you see the pattern cover how big that bird is, but a nice scale. So even though there is, you know, a, a, a fair amount of piecing in the blocks, they are, they are a nice size block. Um, this gray print makes such a pretty chain across the quilt and that print is so versatile. You're gonna be able to use that in a lot of different projects. 
for the backing on this quilt. Let me just flip this over and show you what I used. I went with the large scale floral on the dark gray background. I love these large scale prints for backing fabric. They work so well. And you can see that I went with the yellow stripe for my binding, which those prints, the little daisy, the stripe, and then that backing, those work so well together. The third of the new patterns is this one right here. This is called Granny's Stars. This pattern is a little bit different in that it is one of my free patterns. Every now and then for my collections, I like to offer a free pattern to quilt shops and to customers just as a thank you for purchasing my fabrics and my patterns. So that's what this one is. It's called Granny's Stars and the pattern will be available when the fabric ships. So you can't get this pattern just yet, but in August, September-ish, when those fabrics hit quilt shops, you will be be able to find this pattern not only on my website but it will be on the Moda website and a number of quilt shops will have it available for you as well. I will link to my blog down below it's corianderquilts.com but that is one of the spots that you could bookmark to grab this pattern when it comes out. It is a simple pattern it uses the um Grandmother's Flower Garden whole cloth fabric that I shared with you guys last week, which makes this look a little bit trickier than it actually is because those are just, um, that's just one fabric. There's no piecing in those block centers. I will show you the quilting on this one up close as well. Um, this is probably one of my favorite machine quilting pantographs for quilting and I think it turned out so pretty. So let's take a look at that. Before I show you the quilting on this one and talk about the quilt details, I wanted to show you this fabric again that I mentioned. This is the whole cloth Grandmother's Flower Garden fabric from the Buttercup and Slate fabric line. It's 60 inches wide and it is just one continuous piece of fabric. So you're going to be able to use this just as you would in place of any print fabrics and I love it. Let's look at how that looks in the quilt. So this is what I used in these block centers and it makes it look like you spent more time than you did because it looks like you have some piecing in there and you don't. It's just that print fabric. Um, the quilting design is called paper and I love this one. I've used this quilting design a number of different times. I've had my long armor use it and it looks so good on every quilt we've used it on. For the backing on this one, I used the white large scale floral and I use the multi stripe for the binding. And I love the way that turned out. Because this print fabric in the centers here is a 60 inch wide print, that means that you're going to be able to use that as backing fabric too. I opted not to use it for the backing on this fabric. So this is a really fun pattern. Again, this pattern is going to be available in the fall when the fabric collection starts shipping. So even though you can't snag it now, you can tuck the idea in the back of your head and grab the pattern when it's available later this fall. It will be a free pattern and it is going to be a fun one. Sunny Flowers is the fourth new pattern. This is a wall hanging sized quilt. It uses just cuts of yardage, no pre-cuts needed for this one. And it is going to finish at 40 and a half inches square. I have used some of this pretty uh, white with gray flower sketchy fabric that I think is so fun for the sashing. And this is just such a nice wall hanging size quilt. Anytime you have a wall hanging size quilt, you can also use it as a table topper if you would want to, which is a really nice option to have. Let's take a look at this one next up close. For the quilting on this one, Kayleen used the interlocked orange peel quilting design. And this is another one that we use a lot. Here you can see a little bit better that sashing fabric that I mentioned. Um, for the backing, I used this white medium scale floral and then the yellow stripe for the binding. When you're choosing backing, some things to keep in mind 
uh, some things I like to think about are if you have a smaller project, you might consider using a smaller scale for your backing. You noticed in some of my larger quilts, I used bigger prints for the backing, but this one was a little bit of a smaller project, so I used a smaller scale for my backing. The other thing to keep in mind is what thread color you might be planning to use on your quilt top, and think about how that's going to look on your quilt backing, specifically when you are deciding the shade, if you wanna go really dark on your back, or if you wanna go something lighter on the back. I had a lot of white on my quilt top, and so I went with white, more white for my quilt back, and that works really well. This um, turned out so cute and is such a nice size. The fifth and last quilt for this release of patterns is Jelly Sticks. It is a super simple, a beginner friendly jelly roll quilt. It finishes at 56 by 68. And if you are looking for a go-to quick to piece jelly roll quilt, this is gonna be a great one for that. Simple to piece, one jelly roll, a little bit of background fabric, your border, binding and backing, and you are all set. I wanna show you this one up close as well. It's always so nice to have a little bit of a closer view of that machine quilting. So let's take time to look at that too. Take a look at the quilting on this one. This was another new quilting pattern that we tried out and I love the way this one turned out. It is called Sunflower Field Clam and it was perfect for this quilt. I am always drawn to the clam shape for quilting, but then the addition of those pretty little sunflowers in the center of the clam just adds something a little bit special to this quilt. Uh, the background fabric is Bella in the color 200. That's that off-white color I talked about a moment ago. For the backing on this one, we went with the, um, the small scale little tulip toss, which is a little bit of an unusual choice for me. I oftentimes, as I mentioned, like to put something larger scale, but I thought this was just such a nice look for the back of this quilt. And you might be able to see a little bit what I was talking about, about choosing your back backing colors. Um, I did go with a dark backing and I like a warm white thread for my quilt fronts so that's what's also on the back here and you can see that it just shows that quilting off so nicely on the back I'm not sure how well the camera is picking that up but you're just gonna have to trust me that looks wonderful the stripe is the multi stripe right here and I love that with all of the colors sort of the scrappy feel of the quilt I think that works great and then the nice medium scale floral for the border and that wraps up all of the new quilt patterns. I hope you have enjoyed this peek into my brand new quilting patterns that I designed for the Buttercup and Slate fabric collection. As I said, the patterns are available now. The fabric collection will be available later summer 2022, maybe into early fall. I would love to know which of the new patterns is your favorite. Did one of them catch your fancy or strike your eye? And if you had any questions about anything I shared or maybe something I forgot to share, just drop it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon.